Let's talk about the top 10 most in-demand tech jobs for 2022. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Tech G, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the top 10 most in-demand IT jobs for the year 2022 and probably for the foreseeable future. All right. So according to CIO, these are the top 10 most in-demand tech jobs for 2022. So let's go over them real quick. As you can see, we have a database administrator and architect. And as you can see, the matching pay over here, people that fall within the 25th percentile, they earn on average about $82,000 a year. Those in the 50th percentile, around 107. And those in the 75th percentile is about 124,000. Do we have information security analysts? As you can see, the pay goes from 115 for the 25th, 141 to the 50th, and 166,000 for the 75th percentile. And for those of you who are subscribed to Tech G, trying to figure out exactly what lane in IT you want to go down, you all know that I pushed you down the path of going into cybersecurity and an information security analyst directly aligned lines with cyber security that we have software developers you can see the salaries there 100 000, 122 142 and we have network and computer system administrators 79,000 97,000 115,000 on the high end also network and computer system administrators that directly aligns with the materials that I teach on this tech G channel think of a plus and network plus if you're not familiar with those go check out my playlist i have full-blown classes educating you on those certifications and we got computer programmers web developers computer and information system managers system analysts help desk and support professionals once again this is another arena in it that you can use the knowledge that i present here on the tech g channel to help you get into the it field as a matter of fact this is how i actually got started in it was doing help desk and desktop support and you can see the salaries listed here below and then you have network and cloud architecture and this is also another field you can take elements of the tech g training i present on this channel and apply it directly to this career field as well so these are the top 10 most in-demand tech jobs for 2022 and out of this list of 10 jobs there are at least four four jobs on here that the materials that I present and try to teach you all can directly funnel you into a career. So once again, the stuff that I teach can lead you directly into becoming an information security analyst or a network and computer systems administrator or a help desk and desktop support professional and possibly a network and cloud architect. Now let's go through and read a couple of these job descriptions, especially those that directly relate to the materials that I teach on this channel. So the first one is an information security analyst, and it says information security analysts are in high demand as organizations are increasingly focused on enterprise privacy and security. These IT pros are responsible for designing and implementing IT security systems and solutions to ensure the company's networks are protected. You want to hire someone who can effectively monitor complex computer networks for security flaws and anticipate anticipate any future security risks. Candidates typically have a bachelor's degree in computer science, and some may have an MBA in information systems. The role requires strong technical and analytical skills to understand IT requirements and objectives and to design, analyze, and implement IT security systems. And the skills and experience that they are looking for, you need to have experience with installing, upgrading, testing, analyzing, and managing security systems, experience with penetration testing and techniques, knowledge of network vulnerabilities, experience with patch management, firewalls, antivirus, and intrusion detection prevention system concepts. And you also need to have strong communication and written skills to maintain proper documentation. So all of this right here is in direct alignment with
with a cybersecurity career. Now, obviously, you're going to probably have to get the matching college degrees. In some cases, that's not the case for all of these jobs. But when you go out there and apply for these types of roles, they're probably going to highly recommend that you do have a degree to match your experience and or certifications. But regardless, if you are just getting started, this could be something that you can aim towards in your career. All right. So do not let the degrees deter you. Just understand you can still get started in cybersecurity and work your way up to that as you go out there and try to fulfill the degree requirements. If a degree requirement by the prospective employer is a requirement. Next on the list that's directly related to what we talk about on this channel is a network and computer systems administrator. So network and computer system administrators are responsible for handling the daily operations and computer networks in the enterprise. These IT pros typically have a bachelor's degree in computer science and should be knowledgeable in land and WAN protocol software and hardware. This position involves a lot of time spent troubleshooting and network and computer system administrators typically need to be on call in case of an emergency or failure. What you look for in experience will depend on how extensive your network needs are, but there are certain skills and certifications that can help you find the most qualified workers. And skills and experience to look for should be troubleshooting and communication skills, analytic and diagnostic skills, a willingness to be on call after hours and professional certifications. So once again, the information we talk about on Tech G can directly funnel you into a network and computer systems administrator roles. As a matter of fact, I I worked this role for a majority of my career. Now, this thing says professional certifications. Well, we all know what certifications they are more than likely talking about. They are talking about A plus and network plus and maybe security plus as well. And then maybe some of the higher level stuff like CCNA and some of the other things that are out there, right? Now, I know some of y'all are like, but they just said we need to have a bachelor's degree in computer science. That is not true. It may be true depending upon what company you are applying for, but based off of my experience, the most important attribute that you need to have on this list are experience and or certifications. Normally a combination of the two is what will get you into one of these positions. A bachelor's degree in network and computer systems administration, based off of what I've seen over the years, isn't really that important. So once again, do not let these degree requirements that this article is talking about scare you if you don't have a degree in this stuff. Focus on getting the certification and your skills up and your experience up, and you will more than likely secure this type of job. The next one on this list that directly relates to what we talk about on Tech G is help desk and desktop support professional. So for customer facing businesses, the help desk is an important part of running an efficient business as the first line of defense for customer service and troubleshooting. Help desk workers need to have the right technical and soft skills for the job. Robert Half Technology breaks out the role to help desk technician into three tiers, given that the job description and requirements requirements can vary significantly based on the business. For those of you who don't know what Robert Half Technology is, basically Robert Half Technology is a IT recruiting company. So when you guys go on Indeed or Monster or some other job posting site looking for an IT job and you apply for a job, there's a high chance that the person that is reading your resume might be working for the company Robert Half Technology, where they will read your resume, scan through it to see if you meet the requirements for the job and then they will contact you and go about the process of interviewing you and working on your behalf to see if you can get hired with whatever company that is advertising that job. So Robert Half is like a middleman. And I've personally dealt with Robert Half Technologies in the past when I was out there searching for jobs once upon a time. And they say the skills and experience to look for. So you got tier one. This is for entry-level positions that require less than two years of experience, an associate's degree or coursework at a technical school. You got tier two, this for positions requiring two to four years experience, a two year bachelor's degree and relevant work experience. And then tier four, this is uh, four or more years of experience in a help desk setting, a bachelor's degree in a related field and professional certifications. So once again, do not let these degrees deter you from applying for these jobs. Oftentimes, a lot of these job descriptions that will be written by somebody that works in the HR department and they're looking for what I like to call the 
perfect candidate. And oftentimes they'll mention these degree requirements because the person who is writing it probably Googled something or they just think that this is what you more than likely need to get into the field. Now we're talking about help desk here. All you need to do to get started in a help desk is get an A plus and or network plus and maybe a security plus certification, pass an interview and you are good to go. That is literally basically all you need to get started in that arena. And like I said, over here on the Tech G channel, we teach you A plus, network plus and security plus. So you should be good to go in that arena. And finally, the fourth job that relates to what we talk about on the Tech G channel is the network and cloud architect. So a network and cloud architect is responsible for planning, designing, deploying, managing and upgrading an organization's network and cloud projects and applications. Network cloud architects typically have a strong understanding of multiple operating systems in addition to networking, programming and security skills. Businesses should look for individuals with a strong knowledge of cloud services such as AWS or Amazon Web Services, as well as experience with ITSM, networking, INO, governance, automation, and vendor management. And the skills and experience to look for, they want a person who has a knowledge of state-of-the-art cloud technologies and architectural principles, several years of experience with networking cloud technologies, experience with scaling cloud applications, understanding of cost, performance, and architecture of cloud systems, and collaboration and communication skills. Now, over here on the Tech G channel, we do not directly teach you cloud certifications like Cloud Plus, AWS, or some Azure cloud or something like that. But we do teach you about cloud computing concepts. So you go through, take the A plus coursework, Network Plus coursework. You will learn a lot about cloud architecture and how that stuff works, which could push you down a path of pursuing specialized cloud certifications like AWS. So once again, these are the top 10 most in-demand tech jobs for 2022. And those jobs are once again, database administrator and architect, information security analyst, software developer, network and computer systems administrator, computer programmer, web developer, computer and information systems manager, system analyst, help desk and desktop support professional and network cloud architects. And like I stated earlier, out of these 10 most in demand jobs that will probably be in demand for the foreseeable future over here on my YouTube channel, at least four of those jobs are directly related to the information that I teach and preach on this channel. And once again, they are the information security analyst, network and computer systems administrator, the help desk and desktop support professional, and the network and cloud architect. So now that you know what the most in-demand tech jobs for 2022 are going into the foreseeable future, it is of my professional opinion that you should highly consider starting a career in IT if you're not already in the industry. Why? Because IT literally dominates every aspect of our lives. Everything from all your personal information to all of your entertainment to your job requirements, all of that is heavily backed and supported by some type of IT infrastructure. So this industry is not going away. These salaries are not going to be getting any lower because the demand is going to always be there for IT professionals to come out there and do the various things that they are hired to do. So with that being said, hopefully you got some useful information out of this video. And if you did, hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. And with that, I will highlight you on the next video. Peace.